Christine here with another cute, quick and simple card I made using my Cricut. Today I'm making another Happy Mother's Day card. I am continuing using my Nifty Fifty Cricut cartridge. I seem to be hooked on that. The next few cards will be the same cartridge. But I thought this dress card was super cute. Um, actually, um, in the Nifty Fifty cartridge there's always a project at the beginning and I don't know if you can see it but that's their project now I have a tendency to do standard A2 cards because I have the envelope that match and this card I thought was really really cute for Mother's Day could have been good for a bridal shower or you know anything but I liked it and so this card which you see now is my take on that card so let's get started. I um, started with a white card stock, uh, standard, you know, eight and a half by eleven, cut in half, gives me two standard A2 cards, folded in half. Then I just used black card stock. My typical background is four by five and a quarter. I am going to use my ATG gun and put it straight down right in the center okay. like so okay and then I found this cute pink polka dotted paper to be honest I'm not sure where it came from it happened to be in my scraps so I'm just going to use it it is cut a uh, quarter of an inch shorter so it's three and three quarters by five and before I put that down I'm going to take some standard black ribbon just going to put some adhesive on both sides and I'm going to put the ribbon, um, I don't know, towards the right hand side of the card, maybe three quarters of the way over. And to be honest, it's a little loose. I'm just going to fix that quickly. And then I'm going to put that straight down oops, bit of my paper shouldn't matter on top of the black cardstock just like so make sure it's centered there we go okay then I went to my cartridge on page 30 to use the dress. So all of the images are cut out at three and a half inches. So the dress, um, I don't know, the sewing apparatus thingy, I'm not sure. And then layer one, I did not put the dress behind it. All I did was cut this image out twice and the top one run through the cuddle bug. I'll show you in a second. And that's pretty much all I used. And what I did is I took the image at three and a half inches and I put it straight down on white cardstock. And the cardstock is actually one and three quarters by three and seven eighths. And then I have a tendency to make each of the image afterwards a quarter inch. Um, bigger so the pink is a quarter inch bigger and then the black and I put the first pink image just glued down and then the second image I doodled each piece and I raised it on a pop dot but before I um, put those on I am going to just use some more adhesive and put this right in the center between the ribbon and the black border and then now I can put the pieces down very quick very simple and I thought it turned out really cute and the top piece 
and then the bottom as well. And we'll put that right like so. And there we go. And I took uh, Stampin' Up! saying Happy Mother's Day, and I'm going to put that right there. The other one is white, and this one is pink. So I'm just going to put that straight down. I didn't raise it up this time or anything. And I'm just going to put that right there. And I took another piece of ribbon and I'm just going to tie a knot really, really quickly. Just like that. And all I did was take my scissors and cut each piece at an angle. And there we go. Probably moving the card all the way around here. Anyways, so got a cute little bow, just like that. And I found these fuzzy sparkly um, gems at Michael's and I always like to have some bling in my images. I don't know if I can get it off with the tweezers. And all I did was put some of the smaller ones in each of the quarter corners of the white and just added some dimension. And then I took the next size up and I put three here, the bottom right hand corner, and then one at the top. And it's as simple as that. Very quick, easy card, which I started off using someone else's and that's what I came up with. And uh, I hope you like it. So, thanks for watching.